Hello, my name is James, I'm the Mayor of Jamestown, and it's finally here. The game I've been waiting a good few months for is finally out. We finally have access to Wild Hearts. Now, I'm going to be honest, Wild Hearts wasn't a game I was actually going to play on release. There's some two reasons. One, did not own a PS5. And two... Didn't own a PC strong enough, I suppose, to get the job done. Like, my PC will do the job, but it will not do it as well as it used to. Um, and I can't afford a new GPU. Um, and B, the game was like 70 quid on release, which is absolutely absurd, I would just like to point out. But alas, I have a PS5 now. And I decided, you know what, screw it. I want to play the game. Um, found it a little bit cheaper somewhere in person. So here we are. Game's finally out. I'll be honest. I am absolutely atrocious. As you can see. I'm absolutely atrocious at the game. But it is a lot of fun. But I'm not going to pretend... Like, I know what I'm doing. So, just sort of pretend that what I'm doing looks good. Because, to be quite frank with you, I've killed, like, three or four kimono. Um, oh my days. And Wild Tusk, uh, uh, King Tusk, sorry, pretty much ruined my day. So, uh, yeah, I'm not great. I'm not going to be great for a little while. Jesus Christ. So, yeah. So, but anyway, Wild Hearts is finally out. I'm very happy to be playing it. Unsurprisingly, it is very similar to... Okay, that could have gone... Okay, how about we... Ooh, the camera is a bit rough. The game... The game, I won't deny, a little rough around the edges at the minute. It's, it's been out a day. It is in an interesting spot. Like, there's some optimization issues, which hopefully we won't see. Um, there are some frame rate dips. I am playing on the performance version of the game because FPS over graphics any day of the week. Um, unfortunately, I do know that the PC port for the game apparently absolutely horrendous. So if you're thinking of picking the game up, which so far I'd recommend, don't currently get it on PC. Probably wait for a sale or wait until they've actually optimized the PC port. Because um, if the Steam review... Are you serious? If the Steam reviews are anything to be believed, the game is in a very very rough shape which is a shame um unfortunately i can't speak for that because i'm playing the ps5 version and so far i haven't had any real issues like there's been some there's been some slowdown of performance every now and then which is a little bit dodgy but it's not too noticeable like let's just say it goes from a relatively smooth 60 fps down to like a 40 briefly like enough to notice but not enough to be super annoying no no oh. wrong button as you can see um my knowledge of the controls is absolutely abysmal as it stands which is a shame because i would really like to be half decent at the game but i just I just i just aren't i just i'm not at the moment oh god Dodge or don't, that's also fine. Wall, please. Oh, you can just walk. Okay, cool. You just you just go through that, do you? That's fine. We'll just pretend. We'll just pretend. Okay, that's not very irritating. So yeah. Performance-wise, the game has a little bit to be desired. Also does this really annoying thing between cutscenes sometimes where it'll transition from one cutscene to another. 
but how it does that is by just popping up a weird like black loading bar um, and it is not smooth at all and it is very weird and definitely broke like breaks the flow of immersion to some degree which um, I'm hoping with like a bit of optimization you see a lot less of because it is it, I'll be honest it's not good it, wrong button Ooh, that, okay that creates fire attacks did not know that as you can see I'm uh, still very new <laughs> to the combat to god okay now is probably a good time to, to heal up but yeah other than like some frame rate issues and the weird loading situation gameplay wise the game's really enjoyable wrong button I my lack of like muscle memory for it though is is making things a little bit difficult But yeah, stuff like that, incredibly satisfying. Where are you running? Where are you running? Where are you going? Where are you get? Wait, where are you going? Little bitch. <laughs> so yeah, the game's a lot of fun. Honestly, it is very similar to Monster Hunter. But I mean, come on. We knew that was going to be the case. You don't make a Monster Hunter game without... A, a Monster Hunting game without, you know having a few similarities like we got the pet except the pet's a little bit different he's a little mechanical ball which is pretty cool and then you've got the carry curry the carry curry system i can't remember the thing is the carry curry system which is really interesting and then of course we've got um a rage mode which you're probably going to see in a minute as i've probably annoyed this creature enough for it to maybe consider doing it oh my word so pretty standard monster. Are you serious? I just got out of the last bit. Um, yeah, not quite as many weapon types as Monster Hunter, which is to be expected. It's a brand new IP. It would be cool if they did like some DLC or expansions or free updates where they created new weapon types, but um, I imagine that'll be uh, like a DLC situation. But from what I've played so far, I quite enjoy the weapons. I really, really enjoy the bladed Kusar Kusari Kusara bar. The bladed umbrella, basically, because um, it's basically the insect glaive without the insect. Um, and I really, and it's my favorite weapon in the Monster Hunter series, which probably says more about me than it honestly should. It's just really fun. I really enjoy the aerial aspect of combat. Because if you're in the air, you're safe. See? Look at that. Okay, that, this, that one point was not safe <laughs> but i find it very fun it's fast and it's frantic and it's really enjoyable um in this game though i'm terrible at it so but that's to be expected oh you broke my thing how dare you no roll okay or don't that's fine too Oh, don't go back into him. Put it down, put it down, and jump. Or don't. That works too. Yeah, as I said, um, there's a lot of learning to be had in the game. I look forward to seeing people who are actually good at the game. Because um, I'm actually terrible. Which is fine. Kind of. But it just means it's not the best gameplay you're going to see. Like, this umbrella is supposed to be red pretty much the entire time. Because that's when you do the majority of your damage. But it's getting there. And it's half the battle. And it also has a parry. Which I don't really know how to do outside of the training area. But you know what? That's on me. But going back to the weapons themselves. 
Um, the umbrella is really fun. We've also got the mall, which is timed, which I'm sure a lot of people would be interested in. It does a ton of damage, unsurprisingly. You got the um, Kusari Gama Katana. I don't actually remember the name of it. Jesus Christ. Can I, like, heal, please? Heal, please. I can't dodge roll. I can't dodge. Uh, what else we got? We got the... We got the whip sword. We got the umbrella. We got the Nodachi, which is just an Odachi, which I quite enjoy as well. Um, unfortunately, I, again, it's another weapon that I don't really understand the moveset of, just because I've used it for one hunt. Oh dear. Move. <laughs> Out the way. So yeah, the Nodachi is really fun. The mall. Hammers aren't really weapons that I'm super into. So I probably won't ever bother with that one. Okay, I think he's raged. He's thinking about it. Oh, no, he's running away. Okay. So yeah, we've got the hammer. Then we've also got the bow. From what I can tell, the bow seems like a really hard weapon to use solo, just because obviously you're getting focused all the time. But in terms of damage output, it's incredibly strong. Because the way it works is you have like two modes. You have one mode where it like applies this very small amount of damage, but they're essentially like triggered bombs onto their like marked points on the monster. Um, and then you switch to the other mode, and then all of a sudden, it blows up, lights up like the 4th of July, and takes a absolute shed ton of damage. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and I really enjoy it. And so far, it, from my non-professional opinion, it looks fairly OP. If you can get used to the moveset and everything. Ah, oh, there we go. Here's the rage. Not enough, and it'll uh, it'll do that. Okay, thank you for the healing mist, Rolly. I don't have a roll because I've got the sap on me. Oh no! Heal, you son of a bitch! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Rolly, do something. Rolly's experienced an error. That could be problematic. Um. So yeah. Unfortunately, there's only eight weapon types. And as it stands, at the very beginning of the game, you only have... Are you serious? I've never seen this attack. What in the actual? Okay. Yeah. So, you only have five weapon types to begin with. So, I don't actually know what the other three are. I know one of them is... The, like glaive star thing that I'm super looking forward to trying but I don't know when it becomes available I'm very much looking forward to it though I'm stuck there seems to be a lot of getting stuck that might just be me being terrible surely you don't feel like fire you've got grass on you oh my days yeah, this seems to be... I can't tell if this is just inexperience or the game, but there is a lot of getting stuck. Which is fairly frustrating, I will admit. But I will give it the benefit of the doubt of just the fact that I am absolute trash. Also, the camera is a bit dodgy. But yeah, it's a bit weird that they lock some of the weapon types behind um it would be nice just to have access to all of them i am really intrigued to find out what they are because i don't actually know what they are i've not like looked up any spoilers i could just google them i'm not going to kind of i'm kind of looking forward to the surprise oh my god you're finally asleep well not asleep but i really wish the dive you could like jump with okay put the spring down please thank you 
yeah, there's, there's clearly something I'm not understanding properly about this. Which is really annoying. Because <laughs> I want to be good at it. I just cannot figure it out. I know it's about... I'm pretty sure it's to do with parries, but I just can't do parries properly yet. Please. The healing mist is nice. So, it seems, unsurprisingly, that um, your, like, gadgets are going to be very important. I'm sure there's going to be tons of people doing challenge runs, though, of like, oh, I beat the game without building a single item. Which, you know what? I can respect. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Please. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I've never seen that move before. Oh, no. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, of course you can, you know, take items off. No. No, my gauge is going down, but I also really need to heal. Heal, please. And then we'll get the gauge back up. No. game. I, I promise I will eventually become good at this game. And if not, well, it's always Wild Hearts 2, I guess. <laughs> okay, didn't know you could, there's a lot you can combine, which is really interesting. Um, obviously, you can create, you've got these. Um, they're basically combos. I thought they'd be like instant, but they're not. They're actually combos if they're more complicated like that. Where are we going? Yeah, so we've got the like standard follow system. I can't remember what they're called in Monster Hunter World. The, um, I would say fairy lights, but I know that's not correct. But yeah. Pretty much, if it's in Monster Hunter um Recently, it's kind of in this game, with a few, with a few nuances, which I, uh, I can appreciate. I think of it as Monster Hunter with a different coat of paint and some, some interesting additional mechanics, minus the wire bugs. So gonna die. The ones. They're so disingenuous. <laughs> but I need to build up the gauge, and I just do not know what the method is to doing it quickly. Although that actually seems to do a pretty solid job. Uh, I will admit, so far, playing solo is very rough. Um, I'm looking forward to giving the game a try online. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm actually dead because I can't move. Okay. Well, thankfully, it's mostly dead. Otherwise, it wouldn't be limping. Um. Why did I collapse here? Okay. I don't actually know where we are. So, weird thing about the game that I found is that it's weirdly open world. It's not completely open world. But it's more open world than I was expecting. So instead of going back to the hub world every time and like selecting a mission and stuff, instead you go and you can just stay in like the hub area and then you just select a mission and then you go and do it. Or you can just wander. Which, admittedly, Monster Hunter World, I think, also has a similar sort of system. But I feel like it's not quite as open as this one. Because I know in Monster Hunter World, you can go out and patrols and stuff. But this one, just you just kind of do what you want, really. And as you go and explore, you set up camps. And then in the camps, there's, like, these dragon karakuris that you can set up. So if you set up a hunter's tent, you can teleport to it. If you set up a field forge, you can 
uh, make new equipment and change it. You can set up a hunting tower, which if you activate will like create a massive ring and reveal any uh, kimonos that are in, a, in the area. There's also the Vine Forge, which is a zipline which you can do like a ton of setup for. And these never go away. Your creations never go away, which is really nice. Um, am I going to be okay if I take this drop? I don't... There's not full damage. You just kind of pass out and then you appear up there again. And it's really annoying. Of course, you've got like stuff that you can collect along the way. There's no animations for collecting stuff, which is nice. So you can just kind of jump back in. For the swing of things. These are your healing potions, essentially. Um, if you don't want to, like, replenish them out in the field, you can just go back to your base and refill them. There's, like, a well that you can refill. Oh, down here we go. Take that. Right, you... I don't think you're enraged anymore, which is nice. I spoke too soon. Jesus Christ. Would you, like, give me, like, one minute, please? But, yeah. I'm really enjoying the game. I'm terrible at it. I'm gonna be for a while, which is fine. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the other weapons are. I'll probably do a video on them whenever I unlock them. I don't know how long that might take me, though. Um, I don't know what weapon I'm going to stick with. I really like the umbrella. But I just cannot figure it out properly. Which is really frustrating. But, uh, you know. You try... Ah, oh, I've been grabbed. But the best plan is pretty much try, try again, I suppose. The camera in the game... Honestly, it's kind of rough. Like, I wish it was a bit more zoomed out. Because I'm just in this, like, 20-minute fight. On the world. Okay, cool. But yeah, in this 20-minute fight, I've, like, had issues with the camera multiple times. But hopefully, that's something I can either get used to or can be sorted out. But hey, we've done it. Bloody hell, that was, that was rough. So as you can see, the game is, uh, the game is easier said than done. So whenever you kill a kimono, that's pretty much how it ends. And then you get a rundown of everything you've got. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's standard monster hunting affair, essentially. And then you can head back to camp. You can head back to the hub world of Minato. I'm going to go back to camp. Oh, almost missed that. So yeah, you can break off parts and unlock new stuff. Then this here is my little camp. So here you can decide what to hunt next. You can play online, which... I don't know if it's because I've not unlocked it yet. Or if there's an issue with the servers. If there's an issue with the servers, that's not so good. You can enhance your Sukomo. So you can increase his attack, defense, assistance, and spreading. I don't really know what that means. Um, you don't have to have him. You can leave him behind. You can also rename him. I renamed mine Rolly because it's a ball and he rolls. I like the little guy. He's cute. It's nice to have a pet. Um, this is where you collect more healing potions, which obviously I don't need. You can create yourself a forge. So as you can see, you only have access to the Karikuri Katana, the Nodachi, the Bow, the Maul, and the Bladed Wagasa. They're all very fun in their own right. It's going to be hard-pressed to find one that um, that you don't enjoy. And then this is the upgrade system. It's, you know, it's standard Monster Hunter affair, really. You're not really... It's not anything we haven't really seen before. But yeah, I like the, I like the skill tree. It's fairly simple. You know, you collect the materials and create the items. It is what it is. They also forge armor, of course. There's the human path and the kimono path modification. And it sort of changes your alignment in the middle. 
I can't remember. They didn't really explain it properly, or I did not pay attention properly. But one side leans, I think, more towards, like, aggressive offense, and the other one is more, like, defensive. I think human is more defensive, and kimono is more aggressive, but I'm not 100% sure on the system myself, because I've not really gotten far enough to try it. But yeah, the game's, you know, it's a monster hunting title. It's, you kind of know what to expect. But from what I've played of, like, the last two to three hours, I've really enjoyed myself. Um, I'm not looking forward to another King Tusk fight, though. That was rough. I kind of wish they held off on the King Tusk fight a little bit, just because I feel like we needed a bit more time to get used to the mechanics of King of the game before approaching King Tusk, but that might just be me. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is you can eat food before starting, and they kind I think they stack. That's a health boost. And um, that's a defense boost. Yeah, there you go. In the bottom left, you've got your boosts. So yeah, there's a lot of fun to be had with this game. I honestly cannot wait to see how good people get at this game. Because I'm definitely not going to be one of those people. But it's going to be very satisfying to see. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of different builds and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll see more content of this game from me. Because it is, it is just a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. Um... If you're looking to get it, if you've got console, I'd get it on a console just because currently it runs a lot better. Because people, even with high-end PCs, apparently really struggling to run the game, which honestly is just very pathetic in this day and age. But uh, there's no excuse for your PC port to be as bad as it is. But unfortunately, I can't speak for that because I'm not playing on PC. But yeah. For now, though, I must leave it there. Um, thank you for those that stuck around to the end. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And until next time, goodbye. Mm -hmm.